This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. With free weekly content and free shipping on orders over $150, you can save 5% site wide by using the promo code MTGMUDSTA. I'm also sponsored by Face to Face Games, Canada's premier Magic the Gathering store. Using the promo code MTGMUDSTA will get you 5% off site wide, with eligible orders getting free shipping Canada wide. If you're looking for a direct way to help the channel, please consider joining my Patreon and becoming a member of the generic Goblin Gang. Hey gang and welcome back. Today's game was filmed in my studio and we've got some brand new commanders headed your way. I've borrowed Max's Megatron Tyrant deck, Keeping Plains, Ancient Tomb, Bajuka Bog, the Black and Red Dreddy, Solemn Simulacrum, Temple of Malice, and Talisman of Conviction. Nick has once more brought his Kosei deck, Keeping Harmonize, Two Forests, Mosswort Bridge, Elvis Mystic, Umazawa's Jite, and Evolutionary Escalation. Max is playing the Swarmlord, and frankly, I have no idea what he kept because he showed his opening hand in such a weird way. It is the pre-con though, and it's been unchanged, so expect that. MJ, however, has brought their newly made Felden Ronum Excavator deck, keeping Circara, Myriad Landscape, Two Mountains, Goblin Bombardment, Great Furnace, and a Coal Hauler Swine. I win the die roll, and start us off. I play a Tap Temple of Malice, Scrying 1. Nick plays a Forest and casts Elvish Mystic. Max just plays a Tap Frontier Bivouac. MJ also plays a Tap Land with a Myriad Landscape. I play out a Swamp and pay 2 for my Talisman of Conviction. Nick plays a tapped Orin Reef the Vastwood, and then taps his Forest and Mystic to drop his Umazawa's Jite onto the battlefield before passing. Max plays a Forest and pays 2 for Explorer. He draws a card and gets to play out an extra land with an Exotic Orchard. MJ plays a Mountain, and then casts their commander, Felden. They think about where to go, and end up swinging at me for 2. They pass after they connect. I play a Plains, and tap 4 mana to use more than meets the eye to bring up Megatron Destructive Force. I pass after that. Nick draws and plays a Forest. He then taps enough for Kosei, and with his Orin Reef still untapped, taps it to give his commander a plus 1 plus 1 counter, passing after that. Max draws, and pays 3 in his main phrase for a Cultivate, passing while searching. MJ draws and goes to combat again. This time Felden hits Max for 2, and in their second main phase, MJ plays out a mountain for turn, and passes. I untap and draw, playing out an ancient tomb. I tap enough for a Solemn Simulacrum, taking two from the Tome, and then go to find a basic, while also trying to understand what Max has built here at the same time. I decide to grab one of the Brothers War Robot Mountains because it just feels right. I then swing Megatron at Max, and get my on attack trigger to fling the Solemn Simulacrum at Nyx's Elvish Mystic. It deals the excess damage to Nick's face in the form of 3 damage, and then Megatron converts. This has Max then taking 7 commander damage, and as I move to my second main phase, I reconvert Megatron back and gain 10 colorless mana to spend this turn. I use some of it to quickly cast a Talisman of Hierarchy, a Mirror Retriever, and then Liquid Metal Coating. I pass after that. Nick untaps and draws as I quickly correct the turn counter. He plays a Nesting Grounds as his land for turn, and plays out Evolutionary Escalation before gearing up Kosei with the Jite. He then swings at Max. Attack you for making this deck. <laughs> and Max takes one commander damage, while Jite gains two charge counters. Max is currently a rainbow, <clears throat> having taken damage from all commanders. <laughs> Max plays a mountain for turn, 
and taps 6 mana for old one eye, making a big Tyranid warrior token as it enters. He passes after that. MJ draws and goes at me again with Felden. This time I block with the Retriever, and as it dies, return the Solemn Simulacrum to my hand. MJ also gets to exile their top card of the library. They then cast a Thran Dynamo, and tap the Dynamo to cast Scrap Trawler before passing to me. I untap and draw. I play a tapped Godless Shrine, and recast the Solemn once more to find another basic. Unfortunately though, I've got no good targets to blast with Megatron, so I just pass to Nick. Nick gets his Escalation trigger, putting 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters onto Kosei and 3 onto Felden. He draws after that, and then taps 4 in his main phase to cast Harmonize, drawing 3. Nick then plays out a Forest for turn, and taps it for 1 green for a Hardened Scales. He swings Kosei at me, which I block with Solemn. I draw as it dies, while Nick adds more counters to his Jitte. Max plays an Island for turn, and taps enough for a Trigon Prime, and then an Acolyte Hybrid. I comment how not great the artifact-based deck I'm playing is against that Acolyte Hybrid, and he smiles and passes after that. MJ untaps and plays a Mountain. They cast Sir Kara, and MJ follows up with a scroll rack and go to combat. They swing Felden at me, and I take the hit for 5 commander damage. After that, they pass. I untap and draw for turn. I play a Swamp for turn, and tap 7 mana to cast Wake the Past. This brings back my Mirror Retriever and Solemn again, and I go to find another basic. After a good shuffle, I swing Megatron at Nick, and fling my Solemn once more with Megatron's attack trigger, and take out Max's Acolyte Hybrid. Max then takes the excess damage to the face, and Megatron then converts, and Nick takes 7 commander damage. Moving to my second main phase, I convert it back and gain my mana, while MJ decides to activate their scroll rack, and swaps their hands for that many cards off the top of their library. I then tap the Talisman of Hierarchy for white, losing one, and use some of the colorless to cast a Cloudsteel Kirin. Once it's out, I then use more of the floating mana to reconfigure it onto the Mirror Retriever, and pass after that. Nick adds three more counters, plus one to Kosei, from the Evolution Trigger, and gives Sir Kara three plus one plus one counters as well. In Nick's main phase, he removes a charge counter from the Jitte to pump up his commander by plus two plus two. This is because he wants to cast Rishkar's Expertise, and he gets to draw 10 cards as it resolves. He gets to play a 5 costing spell or less from hand without paying for it, and Nick plays it a Horn Bash Mentor. As it enters, he gets to put a Trample Counter onto Kosei. Nick then plays out a Forest, and taps it for a green to cast Rancor onto Kosei as well. Kosei's requirements are now met, having some kind of counter, an equipment, and an aura attached to him. He then removes a counter from the Jitte to take out my Flying Mirror Retriever, and then two more to take out the Kirin after it stops being reconfigured. Nick then goes at me with Kosei, and deals 12 commander damage. This has Kosei triggering, dealing 12 to Max, and 12 to MJ, and Nick gets to draw 12 cards. He then passes after that, discarding down to 7. Max plays a basic land for his turn, and taps all of his lands to cast an Aberrant, putting 6 into the X. This lets him draw a card from Ravenous being met. Max then goes to combat, swinging his team at Nick. The Trigon Prime attacking puts a plus one plus one counter onto itself, and Max chooses to put another one onto Old One-Eyes, and makes Old One-Eyes unblockable. Nick decides not to bother blocking, and takes a total of 17 damage coming at him. With nothing else, Max passes. MJ untaps, and in their main phase, taps the Dynamo for Illusionist Bracers, and then pays to equip them onto Sir Kara. They then tap Sir Kara, dealing one to me and one to Max, and get to exile their top two cards, which they already knew what they were because they put them there earlier with a scroll rack. We see a Coal Hauler Swine and a Great Furnace going to exile. MJ then plays out the Great Furnace as their land for turn, 
and once that's done, place Braids of Fire and a Goblin Bombardment. Moving to combat, Felden goes at Nick, who blocks with a Mentor. With Felden taking 3 damage, MJ has to exile their top 3 cards. They cast one of them, with a Dark Steel Plate coming in, and they equip it onto Felden and pass after that. I draw and play my own Exotic Orchard for turn. I'm really not in a great position to attack anyone, and Megatron not being a creature on any other turn except my own is kind of hindering me from being defensive. I've got no draw, no wipes, and not really much of a chance to live, so I pass to Nick and await my demise. Nick untaps and adds counters to Kosei and Kara from the Evolution Trigger. He counts up his mana while MJ activates their scroll rack to swap their card in hand for that one on top of their library as Nick moves to their main phase. Nick then uses a Cartouche of Strength to fight the Scrap Trawler, which with the target on the stack has MJ sacrificing it to Bombardment to ping Nick for one. Nick then casts a Black Blade Reforged and gears up Kosei with a Blade. He's now able to swing at MJ to deal over 21 points of commander damage, and as it connects, this will have Kosei's trigger dealing more than enough to take up Max and I, winning Nick the game in combat. Game review time. So don't worry, we actually played two games with Megatron and Max was playing the other one and he did really really well with it. So please don't let my poor showing of it dissuade you from considering building the deck. I think it's a really fun way to build Mardu Artifact Matters, plus it has a fling mechanic which I'm always a fan of. MJ's Felden deck unfortunately didn't get any of their high-end top-end damage kind of cards. They have a lot of stuff that basically exiles cards and allows them to play them for turn, but there wasn't much payoff for that. Max also kind of suffered in this game a little bit. He drew a lot of ramp with Explore and Cultivate, and he was able to cast some of his bigger Tyranids, but they never really got a chance to connect. Nick's start may have been slow with Kosei, but as we saw, if left completely unchecked, the deck gets out of hand so fast. And I actually don't even think he needed to cast that Mentor, since a Rancor gave Trample anyway. I love any deck that plays Blackblade Reforged, and this is no different. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.